The state has now rested its case in the trial of Kelly Permenter. The 37-year-old is charged with DUI manslaughter in the death of 12-year-old Hunter Cope. Police say Permenter had alcohol over the legal limit and cocaine in her system when she hit Hunter Cope as he was walking to school in the crosswalk at A1A and Underwood Drive. News 4 Jacks reporter Tara Lagerman is live outside the courthouse downtown. Tara, it was another very emotional day of testimony. It sure was, Mary, and friends and family of Hunter Cope were actually prepped before they walked into the courtroom this afternoon that hearing from the state's final witness, the medical examiner who did the autopsy on the young boy would be very, very difficult. When it does that, it also brings the tiny blood vessels over. For 30 minutes, jurors heard Associate Medical Examiner Robert Falls Graff describe his autopsy of Hunter Cope. A 65-pound, 12-year-old boy, Falls Graff says, had dozens of external and internal issues, including his cause of death, a lethal neck injury. His head was dislocated from his neck. Internal. He also had some serious brain injuries, but person has that, they will never wake up. Falls Graf also told the jury about Cope's other injuries, including a fractured right first rib, bruised lungs, a fractured right thigh bone, and a dislocated left wrist. Cope was in a crosswalk at the intersection of the Wonderwood Connector and A1A in Atlantic Beach when he was hit by Permenter's SUV. Homicide detectives say she was driving between 43 and 52 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. It happened not far from where she was involved in a hit and run crash in the parking lot of the A1A food store. The state of Florida rests its case. After the state rested its case, Permenter's attorney asked the judge to dismiss the DUI manslaughter charge, saying the state had not met the burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. I am going to deny the motion for judgment of acquittal. That motion was denied. And the defense just rested its case. Closing arguments in the trial will begin tomorrow morning, and the jury is expected to get this case sometime tomorrow afternoon. Now, one bright spot from the trial today, we did learn that Hunter Cope's heart was donated to help save someone else's life. Live at the Duval County Courthouse, Tara Lagaman, Channel 4, The Local Station.